I want to get over to you at meteorologist Joseph Dames. I like to call you Big Game Dames, Joseph. How are yeah. we looking in the weather department? Well, I mean, today's nice. In the next couple of days, we're actually going to be just sitting in really pleasant weather here. You know, September, early September, transitioning over towards fall type weather. Uh, but we have rain in the forecast, and that's really going to stir things up as we get a little bit later in the week. So we'll talk about that. And you'll see that one in my weather headlines here. This is Kalama here in the distance. Blue sky. Took a few hours to actually kick those clouds out of here today, and then finally we did. And once we got the sunshine, I mean, temperatures jumped really quick. And if you're out this afternoon, I'm sure you felt that go from the 60s right into the 70s. I mentioned just a second ago that we are starting to kind of make that transition over to fall. Now, fall, we have about a week. I think it's Wednesday, next Wednesday, when we officially hit fall. So we still have a little bit of time. Late summer here. I have one chance for 80 degrees in the forecast next at least five to seven days. And we're watching late week for that rain opportunity. Yes, rain. I mean, not just the light rain or that patchy drizzle that we've had at times this summer. This is more of like a fall event that could bring in some soaking rain and it may continue for the whole weekend. We may have to sacrifice a weekend for a little bit of rain, but I think people are okay with that. All right, satellite and radar. Here's that westerly to northwest flow coming in. You can see that right here and it kind of transitions down to the east. System up to the northwest, really not going to bother us. It's going to stay in that direction. And it's going to kind of get nudged to the north as we go through the next 24 hours. That means Tuesday is going to be a nice, pleasant day. High pressure starts to form. And then we get Wednesday and Thursday, and I believe those are going to be two days where it's dry as well. But then notice Friday and Saturday there, the rain chance starts to increase. And at this point, 60 percent, because some of maybe of our locations in central Oregon or eastern Oregon may avoid some of that rain on Friday. But I wouldn't be surprised if we nudge that a little bit higher as we get closer to that event. I want to show it to you as we kind of paint the next couple days with future cast and extending out into the weekend. Here's Tuesday. I mentioned that system that we just saw on the satellite is going to stay to the north of us. Yeah, there it is. It may bring in a few clouds as we get into Tuesday night and some patchy rain. So tomorrow, the first part of your day for the coast, magnificent. Second part, uh, a few clouds, maybe some patchy rain. Eventually, the tail end of that system will pass on through. And that's going to leave us pretty cloudy for Wednesday morning, but we kick through those clouds on Wednesday. And then we get to Thursday. That's another nice day in between this wet system that's going to arrive on Friday. It will push through in the evening hours, and then it will really bring in some heavy rain as we head into Friday night and over into Saturday. I mean, we haven't seen something like this pick up on our weather models going back to probably February or so. We've had a couple isolated events, but something soaking like this with a a deep uh, level of moisture attached to it. That's going probably back to about February. Here's some of the forecast rain totals. I just want to mention this is going to change as we get closer to the event. I'll speed through Wednesday and Thursday. It's not a lot going on there. We get to Friday and then eventually into Saturday. Here's at 2 a.m. I'm going to pause it right there to have an idea of where we're at. I think it's possible that we get close to maybe a half an inch. At least weather models have been pretty consistent with that going back through the weekend but some very heavy totals. And again, this is likely going to change as we get closer to the event. So the last time we had about a half an inch of rain, that was June 13th. We had one thunderstorm that brought in some localized rain. That was over a quarter of an inch as well. Last time we had three quarters of an inch, February. Last time we had over an inch of rain, that was January. And that was in the course of, again, a full day. So we'll see what we end up with this. Those totals will, uh, you know, we'll adjust those and get closer. 80 tomorrow, 71 on Wednesday with a few clouds, 74 on Thursday, and there's that chance for some rain into the weekend. Temperatures, Dan, down to the lower 60s. And that rain thing, boy, finally. Know. All right, and tonight, uh, tonight's Eye on Entertainment.